Okay, so we want to set up a custom event to track add to cart actions on a website through Google Tag Manager. So the first thing we're going to, want to do is we need to have Google Tag Manager installed on the website. So to do that, you just open up an account. Um, as you're going through it, it'll give you the code to embed on the website. And if you need instructions on that, we have another video that you can watch. Um, it'll show you exactly how to install the Google Tag Manager code on the website. But once that's done, you can confirm that Google Tag Manager is on the site um, by using the Google Tag Assistant. So it, right here it's showing that on this page, Google Tag Manager ending in P5B, P5B is live on the site. So we know that that's there. The second thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set up Tag Manager to track different events that happen on the site. So the way that we typically will set this up on a website is we, we want to track every time this button is clicked, the Add to Cart button. Um, every time that one is clicked, the Add to Cart button is clicked, there's a value to that. So we want to track when that happens. Um, there's two different ways typically that we track actions. One is through like a, a thank you page firing and the other one is through a button click. A thank you page firing would be like if you you know make a purchase and this URL changes to you know slash confirmation or slash thank you with the order details on there, but for an add to cart the URL doesn't really change that much. We want to make sure that we track every single time that this happens. Uh, so to do that, we get into our Google Tag Manager account. This is the first step. As you can see, this is a fresh account. We haven't added anything here yet, um, and we want to be able to see what information, what variables are displayed when different clicks on a website happen. Every time you click on something, whether it's changing you know, the different uh, variations of a product or hitting the subscribe and save button or joining a newsletter, different things like that, um, different pieces of information are being, are being fired on your website. Everywhere that you click, you know, you could track every time somebody hits, you know, shop flavor, every time somebody clicks on anything, we can literally track it. Um, and the way that we're going to set up the system to do that is uh, getting into, again, getting into Tag Manager, going into Variables. Variables, are the, so this is all the different information right now that Google Tag Manager could uh, find, a, find based on what's happening on your website. You just ignore all this, hit Configure. Go down to click. I usually just select all of them, um, but mainly we want to see like the most common one is going to be the uh, click text. Um, it would be common sense to think that the click text is going to be add to cart, and there's probably a 95% chance that it will be. But just to make sure, just some websites, the way that they're built, maybe depending on the platform or the way the programmer set it up, um, this add to cart button, click text might be something different. So just to be sure, we're going to make sure we see what it is hit that and then we want to go into triggers we want to create a trigger for clicks so we just name it all clicks because again we want tag manager to fire every time a click happens so just select clicks all elements all clicks hit save we're going to submit these changes and then we're going to put Tag Manager in preview mode, and we're going to go to the website, and we're going to see exactly what events are being tracked. So after all that's done, it's been submitted. You hit the preview button here. Drop in the URL. No, it's not the URL. beta so let's try this again preview all right there we go start it's going to connect okay now we can see the debugger is connected it's on here and then as we do things, I'll, sp I'll split these apart to make it easier. As we do things on this website, as you can see, it's tracking every time that's a click. And if you click on this, you can see the different variables. All this information, like I said, that we're now tracking. We added all the click things. Before it was you know, tracking page URL, page path. These are all the variables that happen every time 
um, you click or take an action on a website. So now that we know that we're tracking clicks, we can start clicking on things and seeing what information is fed back to us. So for instance, um, we're on click 10, so I'll click add to cart. That is click number 11. Um, and then we can see click classes. That's what it's defining as click classes. But what we're really interested in is something simple like, boom, add to cart. So now we know that add to cart is in fact the click text. And that'll be site wide. So every add to cart button is going to be named add to cart. And now what we're going to do is we want to create a conversion for that so we can see if we're running an e-commerce campaign, um, the story doesn't start just by getting somebody to click on your ad and getting to your website and then trying to track a purchase. People are taking a lot of different actions on your website from your ad campaigns. And so you want to see, um, hey, if I spent a thousand bucks and I got no purchases, was anybody, you know, looking at the products? Was anybody um, adding items to carts? And that can give you a lot of information on how it is that your campaign's going and how it is that your website is performing. If you see, hey, we spent, you know, a thousand dollars and I got 50 add to carts and no purchases, well, maybe you can debug some of what's happening, some, some, some checkout flow on your website. Are there too many hoops to jump through? What's going on there that's causing people to add items to cart and not check out? So this is good information to have for sure. So we will um, create now a trigger for add to cart. So we're going to go new trigger. And again, triggers are things that happen on your website. Tags are conversion tags that you're going to install and then assign triggers to fire them. So first thing we need to do now that we know for sure that the button click text is add to cart is we want to create a tr trigger for that we just name it add to cart the trigger configuration is going to be clicks but only some clicks and then we're going to select click text equals and we just paste add to cart and hit save so now we have that figured out and we want to in Google Ads, create a conversion for it. We've already installed the purchase conversion. We did this manually on the website. We have another video about how to do this um, with Shopify websites. Um, just to keep moving, we will add a conversion tag for add to cart actions. So you jump into your Google Ads account, go to Tools and Settings, hit Conversions, um, hit that plus button. Add to cart is the category. If you want to change the name, you can. We leave it. I leave it that. Um, I don't, uh, or actually use the same value for each one. I usually just assign like a, a, a generic value. Uh, you know, five bucks or whatever is the value every time this happens. It's not something I uh, measure in terms of there is. It, it's not money in your pocket, so I don't really consider it that valuable. But there is some value to it. Um, so now this is up to you. Do you want to count every time somebody hits the add to cart button? If one user clicks on your ad, goes to your landing page, adds five different items to, to their cart, that's going to count as five different conversions. Or you can count that user as just one conversion um, altogether. I would say for add to cart, every time that's that click happens, it's valuable. Um, again, you want to see, like, did we get a thousand add to carts and no purchases? Um, are people adding items to cart and then some, for some reason, abandoning it? Um, leave this the same, including conversions. Attribution model, I usually do time decay. But that's up to you, however you want to at do your attribution model. We have another video on what all of these means and how they work. Time decay is uh, the one that we like to use the most. And then we're going to install this tag setup using Google Tag Manager because that's how we have this set up. And so we go into tags. We're going to click new. Google ads convert add to cart conversion. That way we know what it is. You're going to do Google ads conversion tracking. You're going to copy the conversion ID and paste it under conversion ID. You're going to copy the conversion label and paste under conversion label. This basically just tells um, Google, Google Tag that when this happens to send this event to this account. Um, we don't have to fool with any of this. I don't have to fool with any of this stuff. Triggering, again, we set up the add to cart click. So now we've assigned, every time this 
click happens, it's going to send a conversion to this account. Hit save. You can hit next here. Done. And you can see we have the add to cart conversion created. It is unverified because it hasn't seen the conversion yet. And we want to submit that through Tag Manager. And you're done. Now you're probably wondering, how do I know that this actually happened? Well, there's a couple of different ways that we can see this. So obviously, eventually somebody on your website is going to hit that Add to Cart button, and this will go from unverified to no recent conversions. If you want to, to make that happen a lot sooner, we can. So to go back and, again, to test out to make sure that that event is firing, we're going to put the website back into preview mode. So it's connected. And we can see here the tags. It's showing the Google Ads add to cart conversion tag that we created. Google Ads add to cart conversion tag. And we set that up to fire on the add to cart click again. Um, so as you're on the website, you can see that as people click around, I was in the wrong version. As people click around, it's picking up those different clicks. Um, this tag is only going to fire when an Add to Cart button is clicked, so we will jump into one here like any other regular consumer would. I like this product. You click Add to Cart. And as you can see, that tag moved up to the Add to Cart tag fired under Tag Fired. So that tag is firing. Again, if you refresh this, it probably usually takes a couple of hours, but it may do it sooner. Um, but if you did come back in a couple of hours, you would see that, that status has changed from unverified to no recent conversions. And that is how you set up an Add to Cart conversion tracking in Google Ads using Google Tag Manager um, targeting a button click. Let this load. It's still unverified, but that'll change in a couple of hours. Thanks for tuning in.